Hi Cancer, welcome to With Love Tarot. I am back with your love reading for July of 2020. Apologies for being a little bit late with this reading, but rest assured that these energies are going to be aligned and accurate as I'm looking at your current energies right now for the rest of July and also going 30 days out into August as well. So this is going to be about somebody who is most on your mind, whether you are currently dating this person, it can be an ex or a connection that's on break. For those of you who've been with me for a while now, you know that I pick up on a lot of different messages during these love readings, but definitely somebody that you either had a romantic connection with or have one right now. So I'm going to be looking at your current mutual energies with this person your person's actions toward you and how they view you. And for those of you who are interested in the extended version of this reading, I'll be taking a look at how this person feels about you romantically and then the future energies of this relationship or connection, which will be available via link down in the description box below. Are you ready? Coming into your current mutual energies with this person here, we have Knight of Swords and Queen of Wands and these two cards popped out together. Okay, so this is a nice energy, guys. Actually, as I look at this spread uh, right now, it's really beautiful energy coming through here. So Knight of Swords is communication. That's what's really coming through here. So either you are in communication with your person, you know, this is like text messages going back and forth between each other or a conversation that was had here or this is something to come for your future because somebody is coming toward you uh, pretty quickly. I'm also seeing a fire sign here with the Queen of Wands. So this is a man or a woman, somebody who's very attractive. So there is attraction and passion in this connection regardless of what is going on here. Um, and it's the energy I'm getting is quick, you know, fiery, passionate. Somebody wants to speak to you. Okay, or this is the energy that you're taking on as well as this is in a mutual position. So I will clarify this in just a few minutes. So for your person's actions toward you, we have Six of Cups and Page of Swords. Okay, so Page of Swords is one of my other top communication cards. And as you can see here, uh, it's a lot of the similar energy coming through. So that's why I say there is communication here. Um, if you're not on speaking terms with your person, for some of you out there, this is them wanting to communicate with you. Okay, so that confirms that message that they do want to reach out. Uh, and by the time you watch this reading, some of you could have already received communication. This is also telling me that they are looking in on you. Okay, so they're keeping tabs on you in some way, whether that's checking out your Facebook, Instagram, uh, social media, not in a bad way, but you know, especially for those of us who might not be on speaking terms with somebody, that's their only way of a connection with you. Okay. So that's for a small percentage. So with the six of cups guys, beautiful energy. One of my favorite cards, six of cups indicates that this is somebody that you have a significant connection with. For some of you out there, you actually go way back with this person. You could have met this person months ago, or for some of you even years, because a lot of times this card has children in it. And as you can see here, there's two kids playing. So their actions for you, I'm not seeing any bad motives or anything here. Uh, they feel connected toward you you know, could want to reach out. But for those of you who aren't speaking terms with your person and there's not really any issue here, yeah, it's them simply um, wanting to connect with you further. Actually, Six of Cups too is sometimes my known joy, you know, so they want to bring this relationship or connection back to basics. You know, it's like date nights, having fun with you, going out, doing activities that you both enjoy um, and that, is special to just the two of you. Inside jokes came through <laughs> for some reason. This is somebody that you could have a lot of fun with. This person also makes you laugh. How they see you guys, wow. All right, so you cannot get much better than this. They see you as the two of cups, 10 of cups, and seven of cups. All right, so yeah, they, especially look at this next to the Six of Cups, they see you as somebody significant. That's really um, the message that is coming through here. It's a strong one. They recognize you as 
somebody important to them. For those of you who have a commitment with this person, that's also what's coming through here for a small percentage of you out there. This could be family. You could actually have a child um, with this person or that's something to come for your future. Okay, Ten of Cups and Two of Cups, two of the best love cards you can get in a love spread, guys. Really, really nice energy here. So, yeah, they that's how they see you. They see you as somebody that is a significant important part of their life whether you're with this person or not so with the seven of cups here too in this context what's coming through is fantasy they think about you a lot you are somebody who is on their mind now also too as i look at this spread they see you as somebody that they have to make a choice on um What's coming through is a choice to have a real commitment with you. They see you as a partner to do that with. For those of you who are not in a committed relationship or married to this person, you know, what's coming through here is that they see you as actually a choice. Uh, not in a bad way. They see you as a person that they could actually choose to settle down with. Okay, that's the message coming through here. So I'm going to clarify everything here to you get more specific. So as I'm sure some of you saw, we have the King of Swords pop out onto your current mutual energies uh, in this connection. We now have the King, the Knight, and the Page. All right. So yeah, a lot of communication coming through here, guys. And this isn't a conversation that, like I said, either took place or is going to take place. Uh, it's an honest one. And it's really a conversation that somebody really wants to have here. Okay. Uh, King of Swords 2, if this is not your energy, you are dealing with somebody that could be a little bit hard to read. All right, They are very intelligent, smart, uh, could be in the legal, medical field, or teachers, you know, something like that. Not necessarily so, but you know, just somebody who is really intellectual. They're in their head a lot. They have a lot of emotion, but they don't show it. Uh, could be a little bit guarded here with the wolves. Okay, this is also somebody who is a protector, guys. All right, so uh, it's a really nice king. You know, I'm not picking up on any bad energy here, but at the same time, it, it's a no-nonsense person, man or woman. And if you're not dealing with somebody with those traits, then this is your energy. So the other card that popped out here is the king of pentacles. Okay, now some of you could be dealing with a earth sign person, but this is also somebody who is you know, similar to the King of Swords. Somebody who's really strong. This is a strong presence, whoever you're dealing with. But this is also somebody who's stable. So what's coming through here is that um, similar to the Two of Cups and Ten of Cups energy here, this really could be somebody that you had a commitment with or have one with. You know, This is somebody that you can really build something with is what's coming through here. This is also somebody who's good with money. They look good. They smell good. Love the King of Pentacles. Um, so nice energy for current mutual. For your person's actions for you, we have the star card that popped out. And also too, as I was shuffling with the Six of Cups, what came to mind is that this could be somebody from your past making a reappearance for some of you out there, because sometimes when wondering if somebody's gonna come back around, this Six of Cups makes an appearance. Okay, star card, uh, similar energy to that, because that could be healing a connection or healing a union. But guys, wow, so really beautiful spread. So what they could wanna communicate to you is that they wanna heal something in this connection, fix something that's that's going on here for some of you out there this person could be at a distance or feel like they are especially for those of you who are not in communication with this person but whatever it is guys this is really beautiful it's like your person wants to heal something with you or if there's no issues you know this is just 
like I said, with the Six of Cups, continuing to grow this connection. This is also um, one of my Aquarius cards here too. Also guys, make a wish. This is wish fulfillment. So clarifying how they see you, we have the Princess of Cups and the Eight of Wands pop out. Uh, you know, the Two of Cups and Ten of Cups were so beautiful anyways, uh, I didn't really need any clarifiers, but just to, you know, throw some more details out there. They also see you as somebody who is very loving. Uh, you could have an innocent nature about you or you make them feel like falling in love again. Okay, that's what I get with the Princess of Cups here because uh, there's very much of like a youthful, innocent energy and she is surrounded by butterflies. So really beautiful. Also passion, guys. So they are very attracted to you. Uh, and... Again, with the distance here too, now that I see the star and the eight of wands next to each other, for a small percentage of you out there, this could be somebody at a distance or somebody that you, you know, kind of have to travel to see. So the next cards we have here is how your person feels about you romantically, the future energies of this relationship or connection. And I'll be continuing this reading over at Vimeo. So I hope you join me there. I wish you a beautiful rest of your July and the link to the extended version of this reading will be in the description down below. I will see you next time with love.